Welcome to today's finds. We had a really nice lavender quartz on the left. That one I found a couple days ago. I didn't have any battery on my camera. My bad. It was a really nice one. It's probably like no fractures in it anywhere, which is really rare. I tried to chip at it and see what was going on in there. I gotta quit being destructive like that. Now this one I could kind of tell what's going on. This is the opal I found today. This is where it was on the road. People were driving over it. And some of the pieces over here were nice that I picked out. It's pretty much an opal. You could tell by this little shiny area here. And some areas look a little bit drier. The way I would approach looking at this rock is being wary about fractures like this one. See how it fractures off in a bad way. These fracture off in a good way where the fractures aren't affecting what's breaking. And this is bad. Right? These fractures. But the rock does have to break off somehow to become one rock. And it's going to break off in those sheets of iron oxides. This side is more stable. I would probably cut this part of the rock and start working this piece here. I've been cutting a lot of this stuff. It's pretty nice. This is sort of a carnelian. I'm not sure if it turns black in there because a lot of the carnelian that I've had and my rock band's picked some of this up and he says it's heavier than regular calcite too. And he has an internal scale in his mind. Watch out for that. It's real. <laughs> this area does have some barite in the area, so there could be barite in there or something. This area it has some cool flame agate. See how it... I'm not sure if you cut it on the inside, if it might turn black in there though. I'm really wary of it. 